back, traders. Uh, today is Monday, June 6th. It's about 1.41 in the afternoon. And you can see we've already made about $1,430 today on um, the MNQ. And we did that by getting long here earlier this morning and riding this up and hitting both targets. Um, and we had a one hour short right here that almost fired and um, I think price came up to about 810 and we had our uh, our mark at about 12 826 I believe it was um, and price fell um, you know 200 or a little over 200 points and so normally when that kind of move happens um, there would be a stalling out at the previous level before a continuation down and that's exactly what we have here um, so you can see I've got an order set up, um, and I'm only going to do um, four contracts here um, um, because of the because of the level. It didn't breach the Globex lows. Um, still pretty good solid level, but not as strong as I'd like to see as a move away. So I'm just going to reduce reduce some risk here um, by putting in four contracts, um, which is a little bit of a smaller size. And a couple things that we have here as far as our stack and the odd studies go. Uh, number one, if price does come up there, looks like we're going to be below 60 on the RSI. So that's in our favor. Also looks like this could be a good 8 and 89 trade. So we've got that going in our favor. We have a critical area here. We have that going in our favor. And as far as trend goes, um, it's kind of sideways, right? Um, it's kind of sideways, um, so that we don't really have that going for us, but we do have some stacking the odds in our favor. So um, because of that, um, we can do a couple different things with targets. Um, if we were absolutely going with the trend, um, then I would uh, then I would be having my stop move, or yeah, my first target that moved down a little bit low. But since it's a sideways kind of market, I've got uh, my first target at the Globex um, lows, a retest of those Globex lows, um, which is the overnight trading. So if I was going counter trend, I would have to be more aggressive and probably put it above this guy, which kind of reduces our reward to risk strategy. So um, my second target, if we go back, is just above this rally base rally here. Um, a Friday 9 a.m. level um, that would breach this previous low just a tad. Um, and I would be taking two contracts off, so I would have three contracts off at that point. And the third one, I would probably imp implement a trailing stop um, kind of strategy with the, last, um, with the last target right above this kind of one hour area that was hit on the... Um, it was hit on the S&P and it was hit on the Dow, but the NASDAQ did not come down into it. So I've got to respect that. And uh, that's kind of the trade that I've got mapped out. And um, hopefully we get filled here. Um, but yeah, so again, guys, stacking the odd studies. We got three of them going for our favor. I would like to see a bigger um, push down from this area, which is why I'm reducing the size of the contracts that I would normally be trading on this particular account and then kind of mapping out why I'm placing the targets where I'm placing them. So guys, with that, about uh, 30, 45 minutes later, and for the purpose of finishing this video, I just wanted to uh, kind of share with you the results of what's happened. You can see we're up about uh, 550 bucks on this new trade, putting us up almost about 2,000 bucks on the day. Price came into our level, and uh, it left pretty quickly. So um, we got a level to break here, um, but we stacked the odds in our favor. We let the trade play out. And these are just some of the things that we use inside of trading price to identify areas of uh, profitability. So guys, with that, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this teachable moment. And as always, follow us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, uh, find us on Facebook, and follow us at tradingprice.com. All right, guys, have a great day.